The vision of the DMAP project is to enable novel material features for PolyJet printing, an inkjet-based 3D printing platform. Led by Profactor, the multidisciplinary DMAP consortium combines the strength of 10 individual partners. PolyJet is a powerful 3D printing technology that produces uh, smooth, accurate uh, parts with a huge variety of materials and colors. It works similarly to inkjet printing, but instead of jetting drops of ink onto paper, PolyJet 3D printers jet layers of curable liquid photopolymer onto a build tray. DMAP uses nanoscale enhanced materials to advance the inks for PolyJet printing. This implements functionalities such as mechanical properties, electrical conductivity, as well as high strength and lightweight features in final objects. What was developed in the DIMA project? As part of the DIMA project, a novel multi-material 3D printer is, uh, is optimized to print such advanced materials that are needed for highly complex functional parts. At Festo, we develop a polyjet printed robotic arm in order to understand the possibilities and limits of additive manufacturing in the context of mechatronic systems. So in KV Nanoster we have developed a very special uh, nanoparticles. They are single crystal nanoparticles based in, on silver and copper. We call them secrets. In the Lima project we are going one step further and developing UV curable conductive ins. Uh, JKU is responsible for simulation and characterization of the mechanical and physical properties of the prepared ink. We are in SERP, our service provider for plastic parts for one-off. At our place, finally all threads converge when the final demonstrators are printed. We were surprised and fascinated by the freedom and the possibilities the materials are offering. In the future, printed robots might be assembled from relatively few but highly integrated multi-material parts. Moreover, structural parts and actuators of printed robots might be designed to complete a specific task in an optimum way. Material properties represent a key element for 3D printing to take the leap to mass production. It also enables a wider range of electronic devices that can be designed and produced with this technology. So we believe that at the end of the project, it will be possible to present the, the development path as well as the development needs in various engineering fields that will push forward the additive manufacturing revolution.